Hi Tiffany, how are you? How's it going? Welcome back to my driving school. How are you? I feel like it's been so long since we talked. We have got to get together more often. We really, really do. I've just missed you so much. I've been so badly. Things are crazy. Things actually are kind of crazy though. Like my sister is moving in with me literally today. Like as I'm filming this, she's gonna be here in like five hours. Maybe we'll talk more about that another day. We have an unhaul video. I've been going through my entire collection and I'm getting rid of stuff. We have things that we're getting rid of. And today we have a big, 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 big boy, big boy of books. I've got all of my fantasy and then also my thrillers. We're gonna talk about these books. We're gonna unhaul a few things, okay? Before we do get started though, First of all, don't forget to hit subscribe, okay? Follow me on Instagram and also check out my Patreon. My Patreon, in case you didn't know, where we do all kinds of fun stuff. There's early access to videos all the time on Patreon. If you love these videos, you could get them like early. And then also we do reading sprints, we do live shows. My birthday's coming up and we're gonna do a little birthday hangout and I'm so excited. Check out the Patreon if you're interested. We would love to have you. And just so you know, it's not a cult. Like I know everyone keeps saying it's a cult. It's not a cult. If it was a cult, would you hear about it? Would I be like promoting? No, you would. I wouldn't. It'd be like a secret. It'd be like pss, 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 pss. my Patreon, pss, 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 you know. Also, before we get started, I don't know if you know this about me. My dream, my dream personally, is to be a fancy, wealthy woman. That's my dream. Okay. The thing that really like keeps me from getting there is that it's kind of expensive to be like wealthy. It takes money to spend money kind of energy. I'm just a simple girl in a simple world with today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. It's like made so much easier to be fancy. I don't know, you're thinking like Jordan Light, that's crazy, what are you talking about? I'm saying that Ana Luisa is a jewelry company, right? And they make these super beautiful, super affordable pieces that are not only like fancy, gorgeous, non-tarnishing, but also like, good for the environment and stuff. Anna Luisa very kindly sent me a few pieces, including, I don't know if you can see them, these earrings. <laughs> Listen, Devani, I'm the kind of girl, I've been wearing the same Claire, you know, earrings for years, never changed them. When Anna Luisa approached me, they were like, Jordaline, don't you wanna be fancy? And I was like, absolutely, Anna. I mean, if I can call you that. I'm sorry, is she? rich i think she is they also sent me these beautiful beautiful other earrings they're just like little gold soft safety pins and they are the cutest things you have ever seen in your entire life it's kind of giving like i'm quirky also like a pixie manic dream girl Ooh, like that kind of vibe and then also they sent me this gorgeous bracelet oh i feel like a woman who does tennis <laughs> like i said anna louisa is high quality jewelry at an affordable price their jewelry starts at like 39 dollars. 39 dollars but there's more you're like i care about the environment i care about global warming anna louisa is carbon neutral with their packaging and with their jewelry when you get your jewelry they send it in these beautiful cute little pouches hello that's adorable and then you can like put your earrings or your jewelry in them this kind of thing lets me know as like a consumer this company this brand cares about the impact they have on the planet and like i'm an environmentalist kind of girl so basically what i'm saying about anna louisa is that it's affordable but extremely high quality it's environmentally friendly and carbon neutral they also have free shipping for anywhere in the u.s and if you're not in the u.s crazy affordable prices in terms of shipping what i love personally the most about anna louisa is the two-year warranty you don't have to worry you know what i mean like if something happens which god forbid it won't but if it did, you're fine. You're covered up to two years. If you're interested in checking out Ana Luisa, if you're interested in being a fancy woman like me, <laughs> please check out the link in my description and get up to 30% off, okay? 30% off your order. Once again, use the link in my description to get up to 30% off. Literally become a wealthy woman like me. I'm just imagining honestly that I like play tennis on the weekends and I'm also having like an affair. Like <laughs> I'm living my villain fantasy. I don't know why I'm always a villain in these fantasies. I should probably like come up with new ones. But anyway, check out Anna Luisa, 30% off. Click the link in my description and live your dreams. Live your fantasy. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. 
let's get into unhauling these books okay tiffany let's get started with this video shall we let's just pick up a book and let's go usually with these videos i start out and i'm like i'm gonna keep everything not this time i think i'm gonna start out with getting rid of a book and that is night walking by sarah moss i've had this book for a long time like back in the day back 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 in the day i used to watch a lot of british booktubers a lot of them read sarah moss and recommended sarah moss and i would buy their recommendations hello of course i would and this was one of them and i never read it i'm pretty sure that this is non-fiction I've had it for so long, there's no way I'm ever gonna read this. As much as I fucking love this cover, I'm gonna get rid of it. Speaking of British people, <laughs> I have this book, which is Wadi Way on Top. Love this man, I'm not getting rid of this. I will read this one day. I also have this book. The Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Also not getting rid of this. These were actually gifts from my old roommate. I am gonna keep this. This is my favorite Gillian Flynn book. When do you think she's ever gonna release another book? because it's been years. Gone Girl came out like 10 years ago or something. Like, what is she doing? Anyway, <laughs> Tiff, I don't know if I wanna keep this. What do you think? In my heart of hearts, I've heard very mediocre things about it. Like, I remember when I hauled this, everyone was like, oh, you bought that? Ugh. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Unless there's like a bunch of people in the comments who are like, don't do it, keep it. I also have these books, which I think I'm actually gonna keep. Murder at Pirates Cove and Secret at Skull House. These are like cozy mystery books. I have read the first one. I do wanna read the second one. Let me know also if like your favorite like cozy mystery books because I'm kind of like in that vibe right now. And I would love your recommendations. Thank you so much, Tev. <laughs> Obviously, I'll be keeping this. We'll be keeping this, that's a classic. Why am I speaking in a British accent? <laughs> I'm also gonna keep this because I also fucking loved this book. Keeping this because I fucking loved this book too. Let's talk about a book that I haven't read and that is The Crimson Petal and the White by Michael Faber, Michelle Faber. I've heard so many good things about this book. This book is like their magnum opus. This is like their thing. I've never read it though, but I am going to. I also know that it's like historical fiction, which typically, not my thing. I was at one point, but lately, not so much. But I do want to keep this because I think I will one day read it. These pages are Bible thin. Also, holy shit, Tiffany. You know when you go to like a used bookstore and you walk in and like that thick scent of old paper hits your nostrils? That's exactly what this smells like. It smells like an old, old used bookstore. I'm also gonna keep The Clay Girl. This was again also in my like British era. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> keeping this because I was obsessed with it. Also keeping this because again, I'm also obsessed with this. I do believe I'm gonna get rid of this. And I know you're thinking, Jordaline, what? That book is supposed to be like really good. It was, it was fine, but I wasn't crazy about it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, the cover though, is absolutely fucking stunning. I've also had this book for so long. Never read it, kept it because the cover was beautiful. And I do kind of want to read it one day. I'm not really in and haven't really been in my Greek mythology vibe. What do you think, Tev? Do you think I should get rid of this? What do you think? What's the vibe telling you? Do you think I would like this? Be honest with me, don't you dare lie. Love you. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna keep it. We're really like making our way through the thrillers. Let's talk a little bit about some fantasy, shall we? A Little Hatred by Joe Abercrombie. I will be keeping this because I do plan on reading it. This is the first book, by the way, in the Age of Madness series. Is it wrong to want to keep things even if I have no future plan of reading them? That's the thing, like doing these videos, I'm like, am I? <laughs> like, is it bad that I'm keeping these books with like literally no idea when I'm gonna get to them and like not really caring? Like the thing is like, I'm holding up these books being like, I wanna read this, but like in my head, I'm like, it could be like six years from now. I don't know, is that bad? <laughs> I literally know people who have like three books on their TBR. 
three and I'm not that girl. I don't think I'll ever be that girl. I'm a consumer. I'm a capitalist. <laughs> Jordalyn is a capitalist. I believe in monopolies or whatever. Is that what capitalists believe? I don't know. Anyway, I know these books are, I think, trash. Is this the book where somebody gets like effed with a knife? I can't remember. I feel like this was like similar though. Maybe it's not. Either way, I'm gonna keep these because they're pretty. I will be keeping this. I obviously am gonna keep this for now. This is the last of the Song of Ice and Fire books that I need to get in hardcover. But for now, I just have it in paperback and I'm fine with that until I get the hardcover. I'm just waiting to see like a good price for it. Do you know what I mean? But I will be keeping this. Also keeping this keeping this keeping this also gonna keep this and this i'm obsessed with john gwynn i think i would literally die for him like if he asked me if he was like Line, can you take this bullet for me i'd be like no problem john anything you want john am i like a crazy stalker i'm not gonna incriminate myself <laughs> I will also be keeping this. Never read it, but I want to. I'm going to. One day. I promise. I promise. Pinky promise. Pinky prom. Pinky promise me right now. Cool. It's locked. I'm gonna get rid of this because I have literally no idea what it's about. And that tells me that I do not care. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Goodbye. Same thing with this. Literally have no idea what this is about. Please get out i'm gonna keep this because i love this book even if i know for certain that it is meant as torture porn i've been manipulated and so i'm in this abusive relationship and i can't let go yet keeping oh this one kind of smells like an old person a 10th anniversary edition of the name of the wind look at that tell me that's not stunning have i read this no but yeah i'm gonna keep this because it's because it's fucking stunning. Like, even if I never read this book, I don't give a flying fuck. I literally have no idea what this is about. And I think that's a problem. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I am gonna keep this. Even though I vaguely know what this is about, I really like this cover. And for some reason, it just calls to me. I don't know why I'm keeping it, okay? Is that a sin? Maybe, but I'm a sinner. Even though so many people, whenever I bring this up, are like, that book sucks. Like you think it's gonna be good and then it just sucks. I think I'm still gonna keep it for that for like that one day where I do like the part three or four to my dark academia reading vlog things. I am gonna unhaul this, I think. Can I tell you honestly and truly from the bottom of my heart, I do not remember a single thing about it. It's my sister in Christ. I read this whole fucking book and there is nothing up here. I mean, generally there's like nothing up here, but like really for this, there is nothing going on. I'm getting rid of it. I don't know if I wanna get rid of this, partly because I did kind of like this book and I also love the cover. I'm gonna keep it. This is a book I don't know if I wanna get rid of. I think I'm gonna keep it. For now, there are really like a few books in my collection where I'm like, why did I buy that? I also have The Reckless Oath We Made. I don't know if I wanna keep this. Back in the day, I used to be like booktube besties with this girl named Kat. And Kat, this was like her favorite book of like that year or just like of all time or something. And so I bought it and I never read it. Let me know in the comments if you've read this and what you thought of it, if you loved it, if you hated it, please tell me. Tell me if I should keep it or get rid of it. Please decide for me. I'm a bird brain bitch and I don't know any better. Yes, that's right. Here on Jordan Line Reads, we support misogyny. We're capitalists and we hate women. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this. I've owned this book for so long and I tried reading it, did not finish it honestly was kind of bored. I'm going to keep this because I really like the cover and I feel like it could be good. <laughs> I'm also going to keep this because it kind of gives me like culty vibes and I kind of like that. I think I'm going to keep these. Tell me in the comments if you like these or not. I would love to know your opinion. One of my favorite people on the internet, Jesse, very kindly sent this to me. So I will be keeping this. Also, look at this fucking cover, dude. It's stunning. Keeping, 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 keeping keeping i read the magpie murders and was absolutely obsessed with it i think i read this in like a day or maybe even just two days i can't remember i read it very quickly it was very good very much like a page turner kind of book loved it and so i also have the sequel which is called the moonflower murders anthony horowitz does does like the murder mystery really 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 well love his writing style so i will be keeping these two and i will eventually 
reread this one and then read this one. I have another Sarah Moss book. It's this book. I've never read it. I've had it for years, but I'm gonna keep it because this cover is so beautiful. Also, can you believe that this is a fucking painting? This is a painting, my dude. I'm gonna keep this against my better judgment. <laughs> also keeping this because I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Also keeping this because I fucking love it. It's one of my favorite books of all time. We are getting close-ish. I feel like we're like halfway there, okay? This is good, this is good. So I'm gonna, oh, I don't know. Oh my God, wait. I don't know if I wanna keep this. Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep this, what you thought of it, if you think I would like it because I genuinely don't know. Recently, I had a friend tell me that they read this and that they were not impressed, that they thought it was just like fine. I'm honestly kind of leaning towards unhaul. Let me know in the comments what you think, but for now I'm gonna unhaul it, but tell me what you thought of this book, if you think I should keep it, because I feel like if enough of you are like, it was good, blah, 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 I'll keep it. I'm gonna unhaul this because I don't see myself ever reading it. I'm gonna keep this even though everyone hates it. <laughs> I got rid of the first book. I think I'm also gonna get rid of this one. Legally, I have to keep this book because it's so fucking pretty. The title, the cover, everything about it is absolutely perfect. I will never get rid of this. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Well, I don't know why I own this book. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna get rid of it. Gonna keep this book to potentially shit on it. I usually hate Riley Sager books. I am gonna keep this because I am interested to read it. I've heard really good things about Sarah Waters. I'm gonna unhaul this. I don't think I'll ever read it. I know that like 12 years ago, everyone was going crazy over Celeste Ng. I don't know if I'm still that girl. Do you think I should get rid of this? What do you think? I feel like I missed my chance. I think I'm gonna keep this for my Braum collection. Keeping, keeping, keeping 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 we are almost finished with the fiction slash literary fiction and then we're going to move on to the fantasy like the big bulk of fantasy that i have these are i believe the third and fourth books of like the butterfly garden series i did unhaul the second book because i hated it um, but i have these two which i haven't read yet but it's also been like years i think i'm going to keep them for now depending on what you think we'll see i'm going to keep this i'm going to keep this definitely keeping this i fucking love this book so much it's so funny and it also made me fucking cry i am going to unhaul this it was fine i didn't i didn't like love it though and i'm not going to continue on with the series either so i have two copies of normal people on purpose i will be keeping this as well i also have the beginning of the world in the middle of the night by Jen Campbell. Booktube classic. I still have my copy. I will keep this book as well. I think I'm gonna keep The Silence of the Lambs. I think I'm gonna unhaul this. I heard not good things about it. It also sounds a lot like In My Dreams I Hold a Knife. I hated that book so much. Bye! The word is murder and the sentence is death. I will be keeping these because I have read uh, the first one, not the second one, I don't think, but I did recently buy the next two in the series, so I will be keeping these. I don't know why I still have this book. It was, it's just here. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is obviously going. I hate this book so much. Sarah J. Moss. I don't know if I want to keep these books because I've heard that Sarah J. Moss is a Zionist, which isn't personally like my favorite. Like, listen, I hate women. We're all about capitalism. Woo. But I also don't know. I also haven't done any research into it. I'm going to hold off to do a little bit of research and then I will see. These are, th this is like a maybe. All of my Sarah J. Moss books are a maybe right now. I think I'm going to get rid of this as well. This is like a random thriller straggler. Unless somebody tells me that this like changed their life, I think I'm gonna get rid of it. I will be keeping Caraval, um, which I have the full trilogy. Somebody actually, I think sent this to me, like one of uh, my viewers uh, got them for me off of my Amazon wish list, so I'm definitely gonna keep them. I also haven't read them yet, but I have Caraval legendary and finale i'm also gonna keep what i think is like a prequel series to caraval why do i own this i don't know i just do okay this is a maybe this is a maybe this is a maybe this this is a maybe also bro my annotations for this book are crazy look at that look at that that's insane tiffany anyway i'm definitely keeping fire and blood also keeping this Keeping this, keeping this. This is, <laughs> this is, 
this is the second book in the series. I haven't bought the first book because the because this one was eight dollars. The second book was eight dollars, and I thought I'll get the first book eventually. But I have the Jade War, or just Jade War by Fonda Lee. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep this because I do want to get the first book. I just want to find it in hardcover for a good price. I have not even thought about reading this book, but I am gonna keep it because I'm trash. I also have this, which my friend gifted to me, but that I am gonna keep. I have Grey Sister and Red Sister by uh, Mark Lawrence. I will be keeping these two books. It's about like assassin nuns. I don't know which book is the first one. I think it's this one, but keeping these. And then also keeping this one, which is the third one. I have not read any of these, but I will eventually. My fantasy section is the one that goes the most unchecked. I have so many books, so many series that I have failed to start, but own. And I do not plan on getting rid of them because they're pretty. This is a maybe. I'm also planning to not get rid of these because I did just buy the third book. I'm going to keep these also because look how pretty they are. Like, stop it. Are you joking? Keeping. I think, unfortunately, I'm going to keep this. My friend gifted this to me. I'm going to keep it. Going to keep these. I'm kind of thinking that we're going to get through all of my fantasy and um, there's not going to be anything that we're really getting rid of so i am genuinely interested in reading them like is that a crime <sighs> it's so hard being a hoarder <laughs> i have the assassin's apprentice the royal assistant and the assassin's quest i am going to be keeping all of these these are all special editions they're stunning to look at bro i have i believe all of the books uh and so that's one so I'm keeping this, keeping this, keeping this. I think I actually am going to unhaul this. I don't think I want this. Like it was fine, but I'm not, I don't think I'll ever reread it. So I am gonna get rid of this actually. I am gonna keep this. It is my every fucking intention to one day read these books and I will. I fucking will, I swear to God. Black Leopard, Red Wolf and moon witch spider king keeping because look at how fucking pretty that is keeping 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 do i want to keep these books do i want them am i ever going to finish the series i think for now i'm going to keep them but they will be on my like on like the radar for like my next unhaul do you know what i mean this one which i'm keeping keeping also i annotated the shit out of this one too and keeping keeping Keeping, keeping, keeping. Our last book that we have for this video is Little Eve by Katriona Ward. This is an ARC copy. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Because my heart of heart tells me to unhaul this. But then I've also heard like a few people say good things about it. What do you think? Would you, would you want me to get rid of this? Would you want me to keep it and try to read it? Let me know what you think. This will be in the maybe, and then I'll decide after from just like the comments. My friends, my family, my familia. We have gone through so many books. We're probably getting rid of like at least like 15, 20 books, which isn't bad, not bad. We're gonna have a big stack. But anyway, I'm gonna go um, because I'm very hungry. I'm gonna eat something. I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna prepare for my sister who, like I said, is coming today. Um, I have to clean up a few things, uh, but I just wanted to film this video and, you know, continue unhauling. Um, thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe because we talk about spooky shit, talk about creepy shit, talk about being a capitalist and a non-feminist and shit. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you on my next one, Tiffany. Goodbye. It was so good seeing you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't leave. No. Don't go. No. Your voice coming in my face I know you gotta bark when you don't got bite Tell me what's that like? What's that?